you fell out of love of hip hop. Yeah. More, more, more specifically, the rap aspect, and that's why graffiti for you became the the mainstay. Yeah, without a doubt. Talk I ain't about got that. A, you got to remember that as, I'm an MC. I don't produce. You know what I mean? I ain't an engineer. I ain't got a studio in my drum. So to get hip hop done, you got to rely on others keeping their word. With graffiti, it's just you and a wall. Yeah. And guess what? It's instant gratification. Yeah. But I do miss the fact that I can have a line that I can't get out of my head. And next weekend, I'm playing people a track that come from that. Like, yeah. I've got physical, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, intellectual property. There it is. It's They're not, listening we're... straight into their brain yeah. of what you've created. Yeah, it's like, I was sitting here, yeah? I was just having a beer in a zoo on a nice hot morning. And I had a line in my head. Yeah, it was older now, wiser now. Same part of town. Yeah. And I thought, no way to write it down. So I started voice messaging Fabe on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Every line I thought of, and he's texting me back, bruv, what are you on? And I was like, <laughs> so I explained, I explained it to him. Fabe, I, yeah, I said, don't watch it. It's nothing. I'll explain later. And two days later, we got in the car, I spat the verse to him. He's like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I was like, just sitting here, the line in my head, older now, wiser now, same part of town. Mm. Kid of the 70s with Tupperware and Ida Downs. Child of the 80s with STs and 8-bits. Teen of the 90s, got high and went ape shit. Man of the millennium, spearheading the rebellion. Bull swinging like a pendulum. Listen to what I'm telling them, Ram. One love to my bridging them. Big up CBM, the fam. Lambies met and them. There's more still. Ned, Fret, George, Spill. Real, recognize, real from the bottom of Notting Hill. with the big kids with a screw loose. Listening to woo off our tits. Drinking gym mix with prune juice. Building a few Zoot to who's who are London's finest Scrappers and rhymers Qualified in bombing science Now like your lighters Celebrate the best One love CBM for the depths of the wild west Killer Killer Podcast Killer Killer Official Dot com Street Culture TV Instagram UK Frontline Beatbox created Killer Killer we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct in the nucleus. Trellic meantime. Definitely a hot one. <sighs> Definitely a hot one, geez. Big wow. shout out to all the sharers and carers, people who have been clocking, sporting and supporting from the very early inceptions. Uh, yeah, we're keeping it moving out here. How sponsors the mighty GK Nifty Heads have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hoddle Wars Summer 2024. Part of the uh, dub battle that's happening at the moment. Uh, if you ain't checked it out, then go check it. We have a gentleman to my right, your left. There's a part of that uh, celebration of creative uh, bursting. Guy that not only embodies graph, the rap, early b-boyisms, the ba behavior, the, the epitome of, from a street culture perspective. Ram, CBM. Love. <laughs> Get that up to your face, brother. Lee. Get that up to your face. Sorry, man. <laughs> brother, it's hot out here, bro. I've got too much of this hair on me, man. You ain't afraid of no mics, I tell you that much. You've been doing your thing for... I mean, I, when I think about your versatility, and I say versatility <laughs> in the broadest sense, rap and graph seem to be run parallel with what your uh, your ethos is on street culture as a whole, Yeah, it? Yeah, you know what? I was thinking about that the other day, funnily enough. I found both of them at exactly the same time. Did you? Because how old was I? I was born in 76, so mm. around 85, 86, maybe even 84. Mm. Kind of found, I can't remember what one it was. I think it was Beach Street I saw first, oh. Wildstar. Okay. And I bought... I went Woolworths with my sister just randomly mm. and bought three, three records. One of them was Dougie Fresh's Slit Rick the Show. Mm. The other one was a run, early Run DMC album. You know, the black and white one where they're against the wall. Yeah. Run DMC and yeah, Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, I can't remember the name. And I bought Kenny and Waterman, the theme tune to Minder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I took them home. And you know what? Life ain't never been the same. But yeah. when, it, when it comes to the graffiti bit, yeah, yeah it, it's always like... That's why I separate graffiti and street art, because mm. graffiti to me is New York subway hip-hop related mm. art that's mm. on trains, walls, mm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's definitely uh, b-boyism as well, they're, but they're meant to be the four corners, that and DJ and MC. Mm. B-boyism, what, what a term for what is the all-encompassing attitude 
the things that we grew up on. Yeah, and mm. even the b-boy stance is you holding down your square is five percent nation philosophy. Yeah. Like all of it is very like people think. Uh, you know, like my dad when I was a kid. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's a phase. He'll grow out of it. Yeah, he'll yeah. grow out of it. <laughs> I'm nearly fifty. <laughs> grow out of what? <laughs> what was it like growing up around? Because obviously you're West London to the to, to the core. Yeah. Man. What was it like uh, growing up for you as a youth? You know what? It's weird. It's weird because a lot of people are thinking, "Oh, white guy, what does he know about um racial abuse?" Mm. Because I was loving hip hop from such a young age, people used to confuse me dressing as a hip hopper and a b boy, mm. and me trying to be black. Mm-hmm. Bruv, I grew up in a melting pot of Mozart State. Yeah, most of my friends are like West Indian, Moroccan, mm. Irish, English. Mm. I'm half Irish, so I think. Mm. But, between our little group of friends, we could say a sentence, there'll be a bit of St. Lucian Patwa, a bit of yard, Yardy slang, a bit of Pikey slang, mm-hmm. and a bit of Cockney Rhyming slang. Mm-hmm. And every one of us would understand it. It's mm-hmm. like, you immerse it. Look, the greatest place in the world to me, mm-hmm. Port Bella Road. Port Bella Road all You know day. why? Yeah, multi, multi-genre, multi-cultural. But I love the geographical irony as well. Talk to me. All the rich bastards are up the top of the hill. Mm. The further down the bottom you get, the more working classes. Has it always been like that? Well, yeah, because the, what Kensal and all Kensal Rise, yeah. where you used to live there, yeah. all that there, yeah. that was farmland. All peasants working the farms to um, grow crops <laughs> for the rich people Whoa. at the top of the hill. Okay. Nothing's changed. You go Latimer today, you go further up, up St. Anne's Road, mm. all the rubbish is cleared, no graffiti on the wall. Mm. You get to Latimer Station, Bins are overflowing. Mm-hmm. It's the same council. It's probably the same rubbish truck. Mm. But there's a double standard. Always has been in London. But that creates that melting pot of culture. No, yeah, that and to, the fact to, to, you that know. London's just multicultural. Yeah. But that's great because, like you say, you walk down Portobello Road and you can taste food from all four corners of the earth here, a hundred languages. You can hear every genre of music from mm. every era, mm. fashion. Bro, there's nothing you can't find on Portobello Road if you want to immerse yourself in culture. Mm, mm, mm. You know I mean, you can even get robbed if you want. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? There's everything there. You hang around long enough, yeah. you know. But so, like a hairdresser, you stay long enough, you get a haircut. Yeah, but we're, like going back to me growing up, from the ages of like 11 to 21, bruv, the amount of times I nearly got killed because I was white. Oh, really? Yeah, people don't get that. Like, I remember one time in the 80s, street robberies was rife. There was more you than them, you got more of them than you, you got robbed. Simple, it was just standard procedure. We were somewhere just out of our ends. Three, um, there was three of us, five, um, five of them, they had knives. Hmm. They're like, all right, fair enough. We ain't got a lot on us, and we're only hmm. like 14, 15. Take, take, yeah, cool. Maybe even younger than that. And the leader of their group, he's gone. He's gone to Tyro, my mate, he's black. He's gone, yeah, you're all right, you're black. But these two take around the corner and stab him up. Fuck. The, the other white guy I'm with, hmm. he's an old friend of mine, but he's got brittle bones. He ain't a fighter. Hmm. You know what I mean? He broke one leg 14 times, the other seven times. Like, he, yeah, yeah. I'm about to hit one and grab him and try and run with him. Hmm. And he grabbed me. We run across the road, hmm. yeah? Bus come, they couldn't follow us straight away. He ran into a British Legion, got all the skin there. And, and if he's got oh, some black folks trying to, trying to rob us. We had racists chasing racists up the road. What? <laughs> I was like, yes. Wow, yeah. what was that one in the 80s? That, that was... In the 80s? Chamberlain Road, yeah, in the really? 80s. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's mad. That is mad. And that's just one out of many times, bro. Like, I could go on for days, but... Hip-hop wasn't the... Well, it was the no, new voice. No, I think voice. hip-hop is probably the most racist music for art form in the world. I mean, you look at um, shows like The Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. They're happy to create this black-white divide. They had Bill Burr on there, and he goes, so how did you marry a black woman? Huh? Charlemagne, this is the type of divisive bullshit that they're allowed to get away with. If you reverse the colours of these people, they would never be allowed. Mm-hmm. Right? Listen, America, this is my problem with America. They export their media all over the world and they infect the whole world with their backwards ass way of dealing with race. Mm-hmm. We're 50 years in front of them when it comes to race relations. <laughs> but we're infected with their, with their crap. <laughs> so it's still festering and bubbling under the surface ready it ain't right hip-hop wasn't built for that it was built for to get out of the the, something out of nothing yeah take your mom and dad's records and make your own music with it just like graffiti it's something out of nothing yeah and our our class demographic is a lot different 
for people that are into hip hop or drum and bass or whatever, you know, mm. people, you could be Irish, you could be any, you could be of any walk mm. within a I, class. I mean, look at what's going on now. You got, you had the 50th anniversary of hip hop and you've got people that are arguing amongst themselves. If Puerto Rican and Latinos had any, um, were responsible at all yeah. for the creation of hip hop, like Lord Jamar saying they were there. This the bro, why are you not so fucking racist? If if the barometer you use to actually like work out the standard of a human being is still the color of their skin, you're mm. backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, you're backwards. Hundred percent. And I'm sick of this shit. And yeah, like I don't think it's called out enough. No, it's called out if a white person does it, obviously. Yeah, but yeah. you know what I mean. I, listen, people need to. I get what people are trying to say. But they use the wrong terminology. They'll say, oh, white people need to understand. It's not just white people. It's also clickbait, you know. Yeah, but it also feeds into the ignorance that they want to be rife. It's like, look at hip-hop. We were just talking off camera, yeah? That yeah. hip-hop's like a microcosm of the wider world around it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it is. But now you've got life imitating art because all they've done is controlled the art form to the point where they're only going to put a magnifying glass on the real low ebb of it. Yeah, on the worst day it has to offer. Mm -hmm. so, if, so now, everything's the same. You've got a whole female um, um, rap industry full of ex-sex workers that chat the most shit that you would never want your daughter to hear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this is all okay. You got, like we were saying, you got to blame these, these legends. Ga the gatekeepers. That, the legends that the are still in the game because on one, on one hand, they'll be there cussing future takeoff mumble rap take off get shot and now they're legends and they're they, they've all flipped the script it's like you can't endorse something and condemn it like endorse it when you're with young at the same time with that yeah. generation but then be with your people and go yeah yeah them young motherfuckers like you know what i mean yeah. so, some you have to you have to listen you have to draw a line in the sand somewhere and stand for something that's why i rate people like buster rhymes because he just don't get he's 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 just so versatile he's he's, he's as an artist amazing I don't, I don't think anyone could do a versus with buster rhymes no. But he's he's transcended age and held his court as as a vocalist. Yeah. And he's changed the way he spits as yeah. well. Over time, he's you know what I mean. He used to be rah rah yeah. like proper animated, yeah. like a cartoon character. Yeah, yeah. Love that too. And then he's like, yo, I spit like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like like, he did, like, like he's actually in the room with a candle lit dinner with yeah. the missus, and you know, and yeah, love that. Like Redman as well. Yeah, I got the mad props to Redman. Yeah, like. I, I quite like there's very few tunes where you can say Redman's actually talking about something here they're uh, all I don't know what you have to really think of a title you know uh -huh, what I mean uh -huh. because it's all like it's just the best bullshit that's the best uh -huh. bullshit you can actually come up with is, <laughs> you know what I mean Serial of 99 yeah, like my kind of, Netflix loaded yeah it's like it's what, you, it's what you call a freestyle rhyme like it doesn't have a concept like I ain't got no title I'm just writing wherever mm. this goes it goes it's about every, whatever I want mm -hmm. so that's why you know Redman's a nutter because mm. you can see he's madness because he puts it on the paper yeah yeah yeah, yeah. nothing's too pre you know what I mean nothing's too pre-thought yeah overthought you know, yeah he ain't really yeah come on that's Reggie man you've uh wow it's hot girls it's man hot, yeah, no. Jesus what are you doing to me man I'm it's, already yeah. skinny you know it's, yeah yeah <laughs> It's that vibe. It's that vibe again. Uh, Ooh, where that factor forty gone? Yeah. Um, Michael Parkinson. Ah, uh, my brother from another mother. Yeah, I mean, you've come from a, a pedigree of sorts with the UK hip hop and being that affiliation and doing a lot of work within a UK hip hop camp. And I know Mar uh, Parky was definitely one of those people that you kind of you uh, went up the ranks with and obviously he's gone on to do awesome things for the scene and, um, and, and internationally so what was the what was the story behind that how did that all come about wow it's mad one of the, um i got this job in a warehouse right and i was like i don't you know when you just know you're not meant to be here, you don't know why you're there mm. it wasn't nothing to do with the job or money i was there and i met MC Neat used to work there. Yeah, yeah big up MC Neat. Big up MC Neat. Love MC Local Neat. to the area yeah, too. Yeah, I, I was there. Like, we used to play each other tunes that we'd like back and forth at lunchtime in his Jetta. You remember your Jetta? If, you're, if you ever see this, bro, I've got in contact with me. I need to speak to you. Because I used to know him before that as well. He used to live in Kilburn Square Flats. That's right, so, correct. Yeah. yeah, and he used to be a rapper. Yeah. He yeah. was in a crew called Nice and Neatly. Yeah, yeah. He's been on a podcast. And he can, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen it. And yeah. he can sing. You yeah, should have yeah. got him to sing on that podcast. Oh, is he a bad man singer? Bruv. Really? I heard him sing There's Nothing Like This once. Done it better than Omar. Whoa. Didn't. No, that's, that's news. That's sick. Yeah. Wow. Well, I like Neek, man. 
Yeah. And Michael Williams. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. He used to be called Cool Cat back then. Yeah. He came. Wow. And, yeah, and he came with this other guy called Selom. Big up Selom. Selom heard that I used to just be in the warehouse all day rapping, rapping, rapping. He go, bruv, where do you live? I said, Queen's Park. He said, cool. I live in West Hampstead. I've got some people in Kilburn I want you to meet. I said, okay, cool. We'll go after work. And he took me to Parky's house. Ah. In Kilburn. And there was him and big up um, Amos as well. All My right. My good friend Mirat. Right. And there was us three there. And they were both a Google, bit... Google, Google for those that ain't yeah. up to speed. Um, there's a good album that Amos done called The Mosaic Album. Bad album. Really? I ain't heard it in a while, right. but I remember the yeah. album was good. Yeah, yeah. There's so many... There's he so was many actually the first one out of all three of us that had a single out, which was Mr. Green Fingers <laughs> with Tom Caruana. Wow. Now, me old school days, man, but yeah, me and Pete, I remember the, um, listen, Parky, man, you could actually power a house off the energy that he's got for hip hop. <laughs> no, real talk. Real talk. I love like, it. I, I ain't lying. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the, you know, like what we were talking about, yeah. I can be quite cynical mm -hmm. and yeah, you could call it negative, but it's just re realistic. He can have a grunt when he wants to. Yeah, yeah, I can be a moany cunt, but I, sometimes I'm well within my rights. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, one time, me and Parky made this tune called Call Blimey in Sound Arts mm -hmm. near YCTV yeah, 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 on yeah. Barbie Road. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Yeah, we was in there. We made this tune. We loved it. We had um, Kaiser was on it. Big up Kaiser Big Smirnoff. Up Kaiser Smirnoff. First yeah. three tunes you ever done was with me and P. Really? Yeah, you were like Parky Some said. History and tell him yeah, people. Parky said, "Oh, there's this dude from Grove. I know he's a young youth named Adam. Bro, he's fucking sick." I said, "Bro, bring him to studio." He comes to studio. We give him two beats. Yeah, he come back and on one of the. It, if you go on SoundCloud, you might find one of the tracks. Hmm. I think it's um. Oh shit! What the fuck is the track called? It might be called Oh Freedom Fighters. Hmm. Okay. He's on Freedom Fighters, and at well, the, find it on YouTube or something. At the end of at the end of his verse, I was in the booth with him, and you can hear me like scream, fall on the floor, like the guy with above one of his tunes. He done the whistle. My mouth dry. I ain't gonna be able to. Mm -hmm. so we done a, <laughs> yeah. At the end of his verse, he goes one. Let me tell you how things done. Life from the depths of the slums. One, this is a little you bastard. He come and he killed both our tracks on the same day. I wow. Like, yeah, this guy's a problem. But then we done a tune called um, Hung, Drawn and Quartered. It's one of my favorite tracks I've ever done. Me, him and Parky are on it. <laughs> so SoundCloud, go on Bob's Gun Castle on SoundCloud. I swear it's on there, I left nice. it on there. Nice, But he come around my house with his cousin, Carnival Monday, and I live near Carnival, just outside of it. In my, mm -hmm. Outskirts of Mozart. He's come around and I said, he's gone, yeah, I've written to that beat, yeah. I've got so have I. Let me tell you what I've got for it. Because I was doing the hook and I was doing, it was me and P's track, so I wanted him to hear what we had. Mm -hmm. So I spat my verse, carried on talking, chopping it up. And I noticed, like, his demeanor's changed, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's just looking at his cars, he's gone, bruv, come me bounce, man. And he seemed a bit pissed. So I've gone, where are you going? Rampage? Because I'm going carnival, I'll meet you there. He's gone, bruv, I'm going home to rewrite my verse, fam. <laughs> Like, really? Yeah, he was Vex. pissed. He didn't even spit me the verse he had back then when he came to the studio, bro. Go yeah, and listen to his verse on that track. Shellings. Yeah, I unleashed the beast. Right. Like, in him that day, because he come back. Yeah, his verse is naughty for... Like, they were the first three tracks he ever done. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I, I look at that and I think, fucking hell. Like, we were very good, but there you got to remember, there weren't no internet streaming shit. It was back mm. then, you were looking to send... It was a, street energy. You were looking to send a DAT tape to a label and get signed straight up. It, so was, it, was, the hard. Of, it was harder, man. It was man. the end of that era, innit? Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. It was so, harder. It was harder. Like, it, it can't yeah. underestimate the the, the, but, the grunt work that went into certain things from studio to inception. That it's tune hard. called Blimey that we made, me and Pete yeah. loved it so much. We didn't even know fully where um, Choice FM's radio station was. But we know that um, two sevs on. Mm -hmm. yeah, Big Ted in about... Two hours. We go, bruv, I know it's pissing with rain. We come, we go. We bunk train to a certain point, and then we had to walk miles. We didn't even, I, to, to this day, I can't, I'm not too sure how we got there. We didn't have no maps on phones then. Mm -hmm. We just kind of figured it, it just yeah. figured it out. We got there, and we were just a little bit too late. They was on, they was already on there. Begged the security guard, and Parky somehow got 279's number. Wow. And Big Ted answered, and he said, bro, we're downstairs. I beg you, just come and take the CD. Play it if you want, but at least take it. And he said, all right, one of you can come up. So I said, Pete, go and do your thing, bro. You go up there. He went up there. He come down, big Cheshire, Cheshire cat grin yeah. on his face. I got home. Mission complete. Yeah, yeah, I got home, and I'm walking down Kilburn Lane and give a head nod to someone that I know from the end. He's gone, brother, I just heard you on choice, man. Bad tune. 
Whoa. Like, for yeah, real. Yeah, you know, yeah, I didn't yeah, run yeah, home. Yeah. Bro, Beautiful. I got home and my brother's in my room and he had taped it. That's you incredible. Know, this is why I've got a little brother. This <laughs> right here. <laughs> the shadow. Yeah. Yeah, like, but them days, it's like when, when, I, when, I, when I was watching Wu-Tang Saga mm. and you see them going through all that for the first mm. time when they first get on Radio Above, it just brought all the, the goosebumps back. The tenaciousness of d- that's doing the, it. That's, the, bro, that's what I miss. That's the thrill of the chase. The, I don't care. That, like, it ain't about fame or not or right. Yeah. I just miss the creative. The creative that's being in studio, all the different producers and people you're in studio with, chin come out different. Mm. You know what I mean? I noticed that. Like I worked with Parky a lot. I worked with um, Jay the Jeweler. Mm. Uh, I got beats from Sass, beats from this man, that mm. man, um, LG, whoever it may be, he's doing you a beat. Um, big up Crept. Yeah, big up Crept. Fucking, from, Jesus. Me and Crept are doing some work soon. Like yeah. I said, I'm in studio tomorrow, funnily enough. First time in about... First time since 2017. You say, uh, you've said it a couple of times to me in the past, more, more, uh, more recently as well. Um, so I am echoing a sentiment which we can get into. You said you fell out of love of hip hop. Yeah. More, more, more specifically, the rap aspect. And that's why graffiti for you became the, the mainstay. Yeah, without a doubt. Talk I ain't about got, that. You got to remember that as I'm an MC, I don't produce. You know what I mean? I ain't an engineer, I ain't got a studio in my drum, so to get hip hop done, you gotta rely on others keeping their word. With graffiti, it's just you and a wall. Yeah. And guess what? It's instant gratification. Yeah. But I do miss the fact that I can have a line that I can't get out of my head. And next weekend, I'm playing people a track that come from that. Like yeah. I've got physical, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, intellectual property. There it is. It's They're listening wh- straight into their brain yeah. of what you've created. Yeah, it's like I was sitting here, yeah. I was just having a beer in a zoo on a nice hot morning and I had a line in my head. Yeah, it was older now, wiser now, same part of town. Yeah. And I thought, no way to write it down. So I started voice messaging Fabe on WhatsApp mm-hmm. every line I thought of. And he's texting me back, bruv, what are you on? And I was like, <laughs> so I explained, I explained <laughs> it to him. Fabe, I was, yeah, I said, don't watch it. It's nothing. I'll explain later. And two days later, we got in the car, I spat the verse to him. He's like... Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I was like just sitting here, the line in my head, older now, wiser now, same part of town. Mm. Kid of the 70s with Tupperware and Ida Downs. Child of the 80s with STs and 8 bits. Teen of the 90s got high and went ape shit. Man of the millennium, spearheading the rebellion, bull swinging like a pendulum. Listen to what I'm telling them, Ram. One love to my bridge and them, big up CBM, the fam. Lambies met and them. There's more still, Ned Fret, George, Spill, real, recognized, real from the bottom of Notting Hill with the Big kids with a screw loose, listening to woo off our tits, drinking gym mix with prune juice, building a few. So who's who at London's finest? Scrappers or rhymers? Qualified in bombing science, not like your lighters. Celebrate the best. One love, CBM from the depths of the Wild West. Woo! <laughs> and that all, came, that all came from sitting here with a line I couldn't get out of my head in about an hour. How do you remember that shit? <laughs> nah, it's, just re- it's just rehearsal, bro. Um, right, so for the untrained, look, do break down. Who is in CBM from everyone? Yeah, come on. It's, we're talking to a representative here. Yeah, we but need I'm to. Not, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Don't official, be anybody I'm not, out. I'm not the official scribe of CBM. I'm not the. F- but there's a lot of you. Oh, mate. There's. I, 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 that's what I mean. I'm not qualified to even list them all. But you know what I mean. <laughs> not only is CBM the perfect name for the crew when you know what those yeah. the, the yeah. acronym is. Absolutely. Right. But there's nowhere else that that I should be. I fit uh, there's in. There's nowhere like else where you guys and you know, could and, be. And do you know what the weirdest thing yeah. is? Speaking about Michael Parkinson, Met and Parky are childhood friends. Big up Met. Big up Met. Big, big up, up Mr. Pure. Met. Each big and up every bees, time. Big up Crep. Big up. I mean, look. Well, big up George. Big up Wise. Yeah. Big up Land. <sighs> big up Jazz. Like we uh, free Nego for Reefer. a start. Yeah. yeah. Make sure everyone needs some free Nego T-shirts. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But well, yeah. now, now I've got me thinking about it. <laughs> this is your department. Oh, we'll be, yeah, yeah, we'll be all day. We'll pure, be all day. Big up pure. Yeah, yeah, big Each up and pure. every time, equal. Yeah, big up equal. Big up grade. Yep. Rah. Yeah, I know. You got my mind. Yeah, going. I know. I've started something going. now. We yeah. got fave. Yeah, like but when I first joined CBM, I used to like I put all their names around a, a sketch that I've done, and I was sitting there going, I fucking can't remember no one's name. Oh, yeah. big up Fret and Reefer, man. Fret How and can Reefer. I forget Fret and Reefer? Come on, Jesus. yeah, bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, De- Deco, big up. Deco, but and you know what? Fellas, De- in- 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 De- the big first up, artist of CBM that I ever met hmm. before I was really. In- yeah, he was here doing something for Freshkey with Sign, big up Sign as well. Yeah, massive doing the whole wall. 
And um, yeah, I just started chatting to him, telling me I used to do art back in the day, MC, very rare, just yeah. being polite. But yeah, to this day, De like Deco, uh, he's a class yeah, yeah, crazy. act. One of my favorite favorite artists. It's crazy. I just love the way you guys always like hang out with each other. You know, whether it's Ned or whether it's oh, you know, big Breeze. up Ned. Yeah, do you know what I mean like yeah. you all kind of you're all. One and the same. It's so bizarre. Oh, don't get me wrong. We don't always get on with one another. No, you but don't. I know. Families ain't meant to, and it's a family. Yeah, really, yeah. Like it literally is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I know exactly what you mean. But um, so your um, you and Fabe yeah. came out the gates probably, to my knowledge, around properly together. You know, in in amongst the COVID period. Yeah, yeah. It was lockdown. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what you contributed, um was the neon border <laughs> yeah. around your piece of, now that was that, that was kind of an kind of a new thing i guess it had been done obviously in the past but the way you guys approached it was like bang neon bang neon yeah. bang and it, and it hadn't really been um implemented so no, rapidly but, but it was it weren't like no conscious decision all it was is that those flame you know the flame yeah, neons, neons yeah they're amazing paint and they make things pop like nothing like if you go and get a neon like, I don't want to, like, slag off no brands on your show, no. but if you want to get other brands, they're watery, they're crap, they're, they are, they're just mm. harder to use. Mm. Those is just one time, boom, yeah. done. And they really did pop, and they go over black, they go over white, exactly the same, yeah. one yeah. time. It's Love. so funny because, you know, it, it really, all of a sudden, the, 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 the walls were coming neon with these, these yeah, new and characters. I, and I felt like I never had characters. a border colour. What, we got, we got any flame fluoros? No, no. I don't think so, yeah. What are we going to do for a border? <laughs> to the point where, oh, come on, man. I think it's something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, I mean it, it was novel, but at the same time, yeah. it got reapplied. A lot of people, you know, CBM, um, for my money, they adopted that. Um, and the whole mulch fill. Oh, no, you got a big up. You got to big up bees and chicks. Yeah, for that. bees and yeah, actually big up bees and big up big up chicks. Yeah, yeah, you got to because do you know what? But that's what I'm saying. It came around the same time. That that kind of yeah, that, and, yeah. and I love that because it's listen. We're all trying to do this on a budget, mm. and really, I've seen them to produce works of art with about incredible four cans, incredible a couple of paint dyes, mm. and a couple of molds. It's a study when you sit there and watch them work. You could be there all day and you learn something like, every second. I've learned so much yeah. from, from both of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't know. It's, it's, weird. it's weird. This is why I, I think Fabe, hat tip to Fabe, man. I've got to big him up because he gets better on a wall. He don't sketch as much as I do. Mm -hmm. And yet he's improved. Like, he's still improving at, yeah. at a rapid rate. And yeah. You it's, see it. It's, so, it's near enough solely on a wall. Yeah, yeah. That blows. I mean, like, he goes out like I three times like, a week. I used to write rhymes. Like, yeah. You know, I could yeah. just like, yeah. I would, I, you rung me and I thought, well, I'll just done a killer. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Dude, I just get bored. Oh, big up for the hat as Look well. Look at my phone, I get yeah. bored. I run out of paper. Yeah. Like, and I had poskers. <laughs> like, I mean, that's shit's gonna happen. Characters as well. I, I, I credit CBM for a variety of Crept. different characters. But yeah, but you and Crept. And uh, Bees. Yeah. Best guy. I think Bees is the best Definitely the three character kid, kings here. Like within CBM, you guys have got your. You've you've got your individual, but it's still traditional within the gra graffiti look and style. Yeah, New, uh, again, like yeah. I said, associated with eight eighties New York subway b boy graph. Yeah, yeah. That's a subsector of graph yeah. that close to my heart. The rest of it I like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. If someone could grab a load of spray cans and they can do a portrait of someone on a wall, That's like true. big up, big up. State of art, yeah, hundred percent. The time mural, part two. The time, the that time mural. Come on, forget it, forget it. If you can do Incredible. that with spray can, but fair enough. It ain't the graffiti that I call eighties New yeah, York. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it ain't that. But you can't deny. It, but everything has its place. I don't want to see these walls here. Should not be filled with lifelike portraits of people. Yeah, one maybe if it's an art, if it's a, a yeah. like, you know what I mean. Yeah, keep it sparse. Keep it because you want you know to keep I mean? the flavors moving. Yeah, because really and truly. Lately, it's been a bit different, but m more often than not, there ain't a lot of runners going, no. going, going around no more. People ain't really racking paint like It's that. been good recently, they, though. Yeah, but that, you got you got purists that say, well, it don't matter how good he is, he ain't a real graphite if he's only ever doing legals. And you don't see his name scribbled on a bus stop or on, mm -hmm. on a train somewhere. Mm. But you, you know what I mean? Some of my favourite artists are, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like... Deco doesn't do much Ill illegal oh, graph anymore, but though. he just come on. He's yeah. not a graffiti artist yeah. because 
talking yeah, I love that. shit. No, no, I Times love that. change and none of us are really racking cans no more. I'm not going to rack cans off zombie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Big up zombie, of course. Yeah, we've actually got people Pro that are black. legends in the game that are actually facilitating yeah. what we need. So now it's the whole community can support one another. Yeah. So, yeah, you can go and rack and go and like relive old times for the nostalgia trip in B&Q. But what are you going to come back with? Mm. Some hammer rights, some rustolium. But if you ain't going to... You, you, mm. you want a fluoro border? Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It ain't going to happen. Like, yeah. everything's specialised now. So and the levels are going up every time with the, so with the, the artwork and the output of yeah. the whole scenes. You've got to kind of work with the, 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 um, the uh, behaviour. Yeah. Really. Yeah, I mean, bruv, go back to the 80s. It was... Bruv, there was roadmen doing doing graph. Yeah, yeah. Bruv, like I said, a funny story. You know, big up evil. Yeah. R.I.P. Evil. R.I.P. Evil. But Untouchables. Was he Untouchables? Yeah. I, I didn't know. That's mm -hmm. why I didn't put his crew name on his yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was Main. It was Main D.T. His brother. I think both. Yeah, I think Untouchables was both. is like T.U. is just so. so main Main was back a in the day, especially. Big, was he? Yeah, but. Funny story, me and a few of my mates, we were bombing the Bakerloo line one day in 1988. We come out and Evil and his crew were going in. <laughs> and like I said, this is 1988, bruv. What was I? 13, yeah? More of them than us. All they're taking off me is pens that I'm going to go and nick again from Ryman's. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Take the pens. No, no, no mad thing. We go home and think nothing of it. Next day, I'm telling someone, yeah, Evil and them lot robbed us yesterday. Right, right, right. He's gone, bruv, didn't you hear? Man, dead, bruv. Got dragged under a train at Kilburn. What? That's I found how you bits heard? of him at uh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my day. You, you know what, what I mean? It was like, bruv. Fucked up. But yeah, funny story. You robbed me that day. No yeah. fucking way. Yeah. But RIP evil, man. Yeah, RIP evil. Wow, that's just blown my mind. Yeah, funny story. That's man. a timeline and a half. Because mm. there was never an evil 89. I'm sure it was 88. Because he used to write, Eve, I, I knew him from 86, so it was Evil 86, Evil 87. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He used yeah, to just write yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was in. Yeah, very yeah, toxic. That's why he died in 88. Because there was a little engineer's hut in Kilburn um, um, Underground. That's right, yeah. It was a little hut, uh, you know, the, the, the wall yeah. on the other side yeah, of the platform? Yeah, that's right, yeah. He used to hide there when the train came, hit the other side of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back, and he must have stuck his head out and it got clapped or he's got dragged. Yeah, yeah. It's only two ways it can happen. Yeah, his stories, I man. I mean, sad. this is... This is Legends of folklore, rest in peace, evil. Um, mm. How was the dub battle for you then? Uh, do you, I do, like you said, I can be a bit of a sore head, man. I, I had, <laughs> had about four hours sleep. I'd had no breakfast. Yeah, you were feeling a bit rough, weren't you? The day? Yeah, man, I was. Yeah. I was. And from when I find out Plug and Crep to there, look, everyone's playing for a second. It's a, it's a dub, it's a time sensitive thing we're doing. Yeah, yeah. there's a time limit to it. Crep's the fastest thing with a can in his hand. Yeah, he's and plug ain't far behind him. Yeah, he's dangerous. I've been here before. I've gone shop to get beers. Come back. I look on the wall. Where'd that plug come from? <laughs> he said, plug done it, and he's gone. I was like, wait. So I went shop, and he's come, done a piece, and fucked off. <laughs> Serious, that's a true story. Oh, it's in the eye beholder. I mean, you guys will be checking it out, <laughs> or if you haven't already. Um... Yeah, it should be up live yeah, as of now. That sun's gone in, bro. I yeah, reckon nice. I've lost the sun. Yeah. In this interview. <laughs> Brother, it's been a pleasure chatting to you. And yeah, obviously, bro. there'll be loads more. We've done podcasts before. Last one was with here, wasn't it? Yeah, big up here. Oh, it feels like an age ago. That was like four years ago, that. That long ago? Yeah, crazy. Wow. Time flies, bro. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. But there'll be more. We've got loads more in us, haven't we? <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> Hope so. I ain't going nowhere. You know, you know why? It. If we leave it up to these youngins, oh, we're all doomed. Yeah, we're all doomed. Bruv. I'm gonna be a work. I'm gonna be a rapping great grandfather. If I have to keep this hip hop shit alive, because they ain't doing it right. Bruv, keep it moving. You're gonna see an 80 year old doing a windmill. I'm telling you, I'll make it happen. <laughs> you know what it is. Big up Chrome and Black, normal headquarters, out on location here though. Trellick, yeah, part of the dub battle with festivities, first of many. Um, and big up everybody. Old tight Ram CBM. Um, and yeah, Chrome don't pay. But the free Nego. Free Nego. Free Nego. We're out like that, all right? Don't talk to anyone, I wouldn't. You stay lucky, people. Easy! <laughs> Whoa! That was perfect.